So now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on for Yokel 41. This is the main event of the evening. Five three minute rounds under full Muay Thai rules, matched at 65 kilograms. This is an international super prestige bout. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, weighing in at 63.3 kilograms, he fights out of pro fighting Sempre Avanti in Bologna, Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Christian Bastino. Well, if you're a fan of Yokao, and if you're not, you should be, and if you aren't, you will be. Christian Faustino last time out in Turin for Sanchai and was absolutely schooled, but he didn't give up. Not once did he give up. And he's got a very, very, very good game plan, he says. But we can all say we have good game plans, don't we? Everyone's got a good plan. Until they once get punched again, in the ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Christian Faustino. Oh. Unless you get kicked in the leg. Yeah, there's a lot more Harrison. things can happen in this case. Not and that. facing Christian this evening, a fighter who needs no introduction anywhere in the Muay Thai watching world. For over 10 years, this man was UK number one. He weighed in yesterday at 65.05 kilograms. And he fights out of the Yokao Training Center at the world famous Bad Company Gym in Leeds, England. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and raise the roof for Liam, the Hitman Harrison. The young man has a massive follow on Instagram. They're quite unassuming at times, crazy. But he, honestly, in his DNA, he is a very, very violent individual. The nicest man in the world until you're in the ring with him. He's an absolute monster. He's been training hard at the Yorkow Training Center in Bad Company Gym in Leeds. He's trained over in Thailand, but he's also been doing some boxing at the Four Corners Gym in Liverpool with my friend John Gillies, who's done an absolute sterling job. And I have watched him hitting pads not only with Richard, but with John. And he is absolutely Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Liam, the hitman, Harrison! Harrison! Wearing the Punisher, Frank Castle. And the Yorkow attire, of course. And here's the tail of the tape, then. 141 fights for Harrison, 85 wins, 24 losses, two draws, 43 fights for Faustino, 31 wins in 11 losses and one draw. But Faustino is a very, very tough man. The difference between the two is Faustino looks dry. Doesn't look warmed up at all. No, and he's no, going to need yeah. to. He, he do look, looks dry to me, no Gavin. No sweat on his body at all, is there? He's sweat on me in this <laughs> suit and this sweltering heat. Things I do for you, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. Our referee is Mr. Darren Phillips. And the black. Turquoise. Round one. It's for Stino, and green and blue is for Harrison. Trying to box Harrison, Postino. Faustino trying to push Harrison back, brave of him. Good leg kicks from Faustino already. Yeah, he's matching him to style, isn't he, at the moment? Yes. But he stands up to those leg kicks.
thing is when you stand in front of Harrison like that, you can't switch off for one second. You can't make Beautiful mistakes. That was shot. a great shot. I hurt him. Sharp, isn't it? Good to see. Costino's leg, leg already leg reddening. Already, yeah. Already stiffened right up, that is. Knew he'd come for elbow for Stino. He's rock hard, this kid. Good nice left. Don't need to drop that to the body, though, straight after. Yeah, the shot's there, isn't it? The space is definitely there. Ambitious elbow by Harrison, clumsy in a way. Doesn't need to throw that so early, Gavin. No, Fostino's come to fight, man. Yeah, Fostino's high. Hands He's getting hurt already. High. Yeah. His that, leg's that, gone. That leg's, that leg's not going to stand to that. There's no, there's no way. Harrison needs to step to his own right. Take that leg out. Going the, always to the left. If he starts to step to the right, he will get a beggar. So he's already turning southpaw. Ryan's on the wall here for Stino's leg. Yeah, that's so. It's gone. His leg's gone already. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, Stino that's... won't last this no, next round. No, His leg's no. gone. Absolute purple mess. Nice elbow. Absolutely. There's no way Fostino's going to get out for the next two rounds. His leg is gone. Look at the reddening on the leg. You can see that on the knee. Do you know the, the difference the is, swollen. honestly, and I'm not going to lie, to, to, to be up close and personal and see what... <laughs> Trying to box with him and he's trying to punch. You get leg kicked because you have to stand on your leg and push down on your weight to punch. And he's trying for Stino. He's gonna just tee off now. You can see big shots coming. Should should fake that left hook to the body and go to the head now, Harrison. Fake the hook to the body and go to the head. For Stino's rock hard, man. You've got to give this kid credit. Proves he's still in it as he rocks Harrison's head back with a left uppercut. Yeah, he's still. Good boxing. Nice, nice. That right hand hurt him then. He gives ground now. He's got to watch elbows back, though, Harrison. He can't get complacent. He's smart. Fostino, though, Gavin, tough boy. Cheek tough. Unbelievably really tough. tough. And he's not stopped coming forward, either. He's no. He's not been deterred, has he?
Nice. Then kick. Beautiful. Fastino's got a nice tight guard. Yeah, I like Fastino though, man. Yeah. He's tough, this he's, boy. He's, he's doing the right thing there, he's keeping his hands nice and tight. But it, Redding it, on the legs of Harrison as well. Honestly, if you could sit ringside, ladies and gentlemen, see the it's leg of Fastino. He's sound. still sound. trying sound his like best. It. Brighton's always on the wall when a fighter turns to Southport. Damage, they'll go round there. Exactly what Kalubin did. It's Fustino though, man. You've got to give this kid credit. He's rock hard, this boy. He's not come to lose, he's no, come to win. not at all. It's a cut on the hairline of Fustino. Too bad that cut. Just to the left of me, we can see the father of Liam Harrison nodding in appreciation of his own son and his longtime girlfriend, Kate. Give credit to Christina uh, Fastino, man. Well, he hasn't come to lose, really. No, he's come he? here to no win, way, win the fight, he? you know. He's, he's, he's not come here just to make up any numbers. He, he, you know, he's still there now. He still believes he's going to win the fight. So, you know. bad idea though about it is when you try and kick with your right leg, when you're a southpaw, outside a left, um, an orthodox fighter, you're open to the right hand and left hook. Beautiful. Very nice. Lovely technique. The Italian, though, coming forward all the time, and you can see why he was picked as an opponent for Harrison. Tough boy, this. A nice shot to the body. It's caught with the right jab. Just seems to be getting a bit too close to him, uh, Harrison. Just a bit too close to him. He's letting those combinations off. Yeah. Just spoiling his own work a little bit. A little half step away. Just start kicking the front leg, shots. Gavin. Kick inside the front leg for Fostino. Slippy that canvas, it's the second time. Good Heavy shot. Foot forward come Fastino again. Come back to Orthodox. Back to Southport. Thought better of it. Good long knee from Harrison. Good shot round the side. Boxing's improved immensely under the guidance of John Gillies and, of course, Richard Smith. 
Kickboxing is much better. Beautiful shots. Nice. Nice combination. Lovely finish. To move well, Postino still coming forward, teak tough. Very nice. Postino, though, man, I've got to give him credit. He's a tough, tough boy. But he's getting a shellacking in there. But Gavin, what a performance. He's moving so beautifully, Liam, at times. It's a slippy canvas. And Darren Phillips is just as off screen. The acts of work that shouldn't be really involved in it. Out. He's won my heart though, I tell you, Postino. He right really is. Oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very, very tough game man. The good thing is though, even though he's still here in the fourth round, he's took a shellacking. Liam's not switched from the game plan, he showed his experience and he's kept tell around Harrison's, like... You can tell Harrison's confident as well, he's stepping in with yeah. me, he doesn't do that. Beautiful shot. shot! Beautiful. Beautiful time. Looking to finish now. Big hooks, nice. Tough for Stino. Look how he's come forward, though. Got to give this boy credit. Got to be careful here, Liam, because he's not. He's not. Yeah, he out. has. He's not. Uh, he's not wobbled as such. He's no, he wasn't. It was a knockdown. flash knockdown, wasn't it? Really. He's up straight away. Yeah. He's a hard, hard boy. It's a good performance. You know, a one-sided performance, really, this fight. But I've got to give this kid credit, man. Looking for that same shot again. Sneaking that right hand through, good elbow. Put him on the cheek. Cut. Handsome Italian. Slice, that was a deep cut as it well. It is a deep cut, it's a very deep cut. He won't stop it though, because he won't run in the eye. Nice. I'm going to tell you something, I don't care what anyone says, he will give Postino, will give everyone a problem. He is rock hard, this boy. Working nicely behind the jab now, Liam. Caught on the forehead, he's caught on the cheek, but he still comes smiling. Italy can be proud of their fighter, man, because he is absolutely rock hard, man. He really is. And you can't buy that. Look, look at the elbow there, it was nice. Drew him in. You know what? Do you know what? There's two sides to this fight. One fight, one side is Harrison absolutely just giving a shellacking out. 
But this kid is teed up, and I thought that was the end of the fight. Well, to be fair, you, you know, you looked at it from the first and second round, and you thought the right was on the wall, the leg stiffened up, he hit with some good leg kicks, some good hooks, some good body shots, and you thought Harrison's going to find a way into it. And he has done. He, he, as I say, he's dished out, he's dished out a lesson and a bit of a shellacking. But uh, you've got to give credit to the, the you know, Faustino. He's, oh, he stopped the fight. Well, stop there you go, then. Fight's been stopped. Took an absolute shellacking. That's, that's a good decision, that. That's a good decision. You know decision. what? What a fighter that kid is. It was a fire two halves that, you know, no, not two halves, two sides. A brave performance was from Stino. And a beautiful performance by the hitman. You see why he's loved, though, can't you, Gavin? You see why he's loved. Oh, for sure, for sure. Always gives, always gives full value for money. Always entertaining, always brings the fight. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. Yeah, give him a round of applause. This kid deserves it. He fought really well, and I'm a big fan of him now, as I was anyway, Christian Fastino. But he took a shellacking, a very, very clever performance. Heart of a lion. And a great performance by Harrison. So, ladies and gentlemen, there ends a Yoko 41. Okay, fighters, to the centre of the ring, please. <laughs> After Douglas. So, ladies and gentlemen, during the interval between rounds four and five, the boxer in the blue corner has retired from the contest. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the red corner, Liam, the Hitman. So, gentlemen, in the ring, monsters when you fight them, but absolute great performance. What a hard, hard guy. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on Yoke 41. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, but oh well, let's stay together, eh? Let's not break up yet. We'll keep our romance going because after this, yes. We've got another show, Yakko 42, and it's going to be another scorcher.